I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand how to find whether the given function is a rational function or not. So the question here is which of the following are not rational functions? Explain. So we are given six functions here. You can pause the video and write down your answer and we will discuss them one by one. f of x equals to 2x minus 1. Is it a rational function or not? b f of x equals to 2x plus 3 divided by x plus 3 c is f of x equals to 1 over x d is f of x equals to 1 over square root of x e is f of x equals to x to the power of minus 1 minus 1 divided by x to the power of minus 1 plus 1 and f is f of x equals to sine x plus cos x divided by tan x okay let's remove this one so these are the six functions given to you, you need to answer whether they are rational functions or not. And if they are not rational functions, give a reason. Okay. Now, let's begin with the very first one. Now, I find this question being answered many times incorrectly. And you will realize why. The first one is f of x equals to 2x plus 1. At times, students think that this is not a rational function since it is not written as something over something, right? So let me remind you what rational functions are. Rational functions, we say r of x, is equals to quotient of two polynomials. So px over qx, where qx is not equal to 0. So that is what rational function is. Now at times people say this is not a rational function, but remember anything could be written as something over 1 which is also a polynomial right so this one is a rational function so let me write rf rational function the second one clearly is a rational function we have a polynomial 2x plus 6 in the numerator denominator is x plus 3 so we'll write rational function well at times i have seen students doing like this they will take two common write x plus 3 divided by x plus 3 cancel this off equals to 2 and they will say it is not a rational function it's just a constant 2 remember one thing constant is also a rational function okay don't think that constants are not rational functions they are also rational functions okay so when you simplify your rational function you always get a rational function remember that also so this is indeed a rational function now we have 1 over x now, 1, as I said, is a constant, will be considered to be a polynomial divided by another polynomial. It has a restriction. x cannot be equal to 0. This has a restriction. x cannot be minus 3. So, this is also a rational function. Now, we have this one, which is 1 over square root of x. Is it a rational function? The answer is, it is not a rational function. Reason is that square root x is not a polynomial that is the reason and that is why 1 over square root x is not a rational function you get the point it could be treated as a reciprocal function we'll talk about that in coming videos but it is not a rational function since square root x is not a polynomial remember rational function is ratio of polynomials next one it seems that this is not a polynomial, so student will jump into conclusion that this is not a rational function. But now, what I will do here is kind of simplify it. So, I don't have much space, so I'll do it here. I can write this as 1 over x, that is x to the power of minus 1, minus 1 over 1 over x plus 1. Is it okay? So, so in a way, I could write this as 1 minus x over x times... So when we flip it, it could be simplified as x over 1 plus x, right? You see, now all are polynomials. It's a ratio of polynomials, right? So remember, you could actually simplify, rewrite it. And once you do that, you find this is also a rational function, right? So it may look like that the numerator is not a polynomial, but try to simplify and see what it is, right? It is really a rational function. So this one is a rational function. f sine x plus cos x over 1 minus tan x. Well, this is not 
a rational function and reason is sin x cosine x are not polynomials right so here not a ratio of not polynomials right not polynomial quotient let me write like that both are not polynomials correct so that is how you have to look into rational functions and understand that when you are given something over something necessarily it is not going to be a rational function you have to see that they should be polynomials that is very important to understand now let's get back to some more basic questions about rational functions i'm anil kumar and if you're enjoying this journey you can subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you and all the best.